Hello, it's me, and I'm going to show you how to make a combination lock like this. Um, I'll just show you the combination for mine is these two. And you press the button, and the door stays open. And then until you press this button, and that closes. Okay, so you want to have, depending on uh, the amount of uh, switches you want, uh, uh, some blocks like that. Uh, this is just for elevators, you can have it down there if you want. Uh, so I'm going to have three switches to three uh, switches to un uh, for a combination to unlock the door. Then you want another one. It doesn't matter which way, right, right or left. Uh, you want one which will hold the button, which will test the combination. See if the door will open. And then you want the door over there. Doesn't really matter. Okay, so I'm going to put switches on the ones for the combination, and then put a button on the one that you need to test it with. Uh, the, bu the button is preferable because with the switch you can leave it down uh, and it will always be on. With, it, with the button you need to press it and it comes back out so uh, they can't just try every single combination at once. Okay, so have a, if it's elevated you want to have a block behind it so you can leave the redstone down. You leave the redstone down and put one on the back of each, uh, back of, each of these. I'm going to do the button in a second. We're going to concentrate on the levers. Uh, now you want to choose a combination. So let's say I'll just I want these two down. Okay. So we go have a look at the back. Uh, now you want to put the redstone torch on the back of ones that you chose, and that will turn it to off again like this. So that means that this combination is the only combination now with the redstone torch and stuff that will cause the entire output to be nothing. Entire output to be to be nil. Any other combination will supply power. Okay, so now we need to make it so that the off will turn the door on. So to do that, we need to reverse the power. So when it's when that's off, the output is on. So we put a redstone torch like this. Okay, so when it's off, that is on. Now this output should go to the door. But uh, if it just went to the door, anyone if anyone did that without even pressing the button then the door would open. So we need to fix that. The way we do that is building one of these things. It requires three blocks, preferably next to each other, and two on top like that, and one uh, down like that. Okay? So, and then you want a redstone bit in the middle, so these two lead into that one. Now, as you'll notice, these two are always on, and this one is off. With this formation, the only way this torch can be on is if these two are both off. So you need to have two different supplies. One leading to that one, and one leading to that one. Both of these being turned on. So those two go off, and for this one to turn on. If, one of the, if even one of those is on, that will be off. So both of these supplies need to be on. Both of these supplies need to be on for these two torches to both turn off. For that to turn on. Now the two different supplies are going to be the red, this redstone torch, that's turning it off, that means the person has the right combination. I'm just going to lead it to this one. Uh, and then the other one is the button. Okay, so this needs to lead off the button over here. That's the wrong one, sorry. Okay, so okay. Um, like that. So when this button is on, you'll see. Hopefully that that tor torch will go off. Hold on a second. Okay, I fixed it. I just moved this further on. Uh, it was a bit too close to that one. So now when that button, when you push this button, that turns. Sorry, uh, that torch over there turns off there. That one. So that means that this one turns on and this one will supply the power to the door so that means when they have to have the right combination and then they have to press the button to open the door to turn that torch on and to open the door but we want another step to make sure that the door will stay open until we uh, press the button inside which will make it close I was just readjusting the wire there just for no reason okay so um, we want this redstone uh, torch to lead to a another thing. I can't remember what it's called, 
but it looks like this. And yeah, the redstone leading, uh, leading into it, like that. And then you have a torch uh, here, and a torch there. And you want to connect the two uh, torches up. And you want, I think you want this one to be on first, because uh, this, that's going to be on, and that'll supply power to the to this torch, which will make make it turn off. So you want that torch to be on, the one that it's leading into to be on. Uh, it doesn't matter if you lead into this one, but as long as you make sure this one is on. So, and you want to lead into the back of it rather than anywhere else. So that the, it, I think you can lead it in. No, just lead it into the back of it. Okay. So now we want to lead redstone off the dark bit. So that means when it's when that's when it's not uh, so when that's not supplying power, the uh, when that's not supplying power, look for the black bit of dust and uh, lead it off. Oh crap! Uh, lead it off. Uh, that. Oh god, I'm getting. Ah, hmm. oh, okay. Sorry, I I just switched around. Make sure that's the one on, and that's one off. So this one's to lead through the door. Oh, I'm at redstone, hold on. In case I've got some more uh, uh, redstone dust, and you want to lead this to the door. As you'll see now, uh, that will lead to the door, And but the problem is now, so we've got this up, and the button will turn, we'll, we'll go through here, make that turn off, uh, that will turn on, and it will switch these two around. This basically um, makes it so when you supply power to it, it switches... Uh, which output it has, and then it stays like that until you put an output to this one, to the other one. And I'm just going to make some more room here, uh, show you something else. Because th this actually can't reach the door, because redstone only goes a certain amount of uh, blocks. Um, I actually need to adjust this, because there needs to be space for something else to go into the back of this, of this uh, other block. So we want some more space here. And we'll have the redstone leading further out. Okay, so now I have the redstone leading around like that. See, this now does not reach, so you need to make some space. This thing's called a repeater. But um, so you have two blocks, and it's in the middle of the circuit. Uh, you want to extend, and you have a torch here. So that's now supplying power to that, and that's off. And you have some dust here, and then that leads, you want to get rid of this bit, and that leads into another torch. So that's now on, and that extends the uh, that extends the uh, length of it. So now the door opens. But as you can see, that stays open because of this thing. So now we want to make, sh uh, now we want to make, sh have a button inside, which will uh, make it turn back off. So we can have the button any way we want, uh, but I'm going to have it here. Uh, okay, so when I get in, I'll be pressing this button to turn it back off. Uh, so we want to have get some more space. Space is quite a major thing in this because it's uh, it's it does require a lot of space. So I'm gonna make. I'm just gonna build this further out because it was I was running out of space there. Uh, just like this, I'll build the repeater again. Okay, like that. Um, so we have the repeater up, and that should be, ah, sorry, it was too far back, it's too far forward, I mean, uh, you want, the, if, if it's not, if it's not reaching, it's going to turn off, so, let me just, so that's turned off, that's turned on, and the line is extended, and the door opens, okay, uh, now, we want the button, this is the button here, and we're going to have redstone trailing off it, and you want it to go into the back of this one, the back of the other block, which isn't... So that is leading to this block, and this is the uh, that formation again. And you want to lead it, lead it into the back of the other block. So lead off the... Um, oops. Don't want it... Don't cross any wires. That's quite a... Uh, it's, it gets pretty annoying when you start crossing wires. Um, this also wants to extend. Again, I have to... I have to alter that so it doesn't lead into other things. Uh, where's the... Okay, this is leading off that. And we want to go down here. 
Again, I need to change that to make it further out. So I'm just altering and making more space. Okay, that's still okay. That's still working. Now we want this to lead into the back of that. Now it's all ready. And now when we uh, turn on, you want this to come out properly. You want uh, when we flick this switch, that alters this one and makes it makes that output off and turns the door back off. So that's all done now, and I'm going to just show you uh, to test it. Say so we put the wrong combination in, it doesn't open it. Put the right combination in, even if we have all three down. If I have all three down, it doesn't work. If we have the right combination, it opens the door. And we go in, and then we want to that will open forever until we close it by clicking that one. And I, can, I came up with this thing, you can do a, make an override switch, so even if it is stay on multiplayer, uh, you can when you're out, so say you can when you're out, uh, you can flip the switch and then put these back up so nobody does the, does the uh, combination. But if you forget and you leave it down, someone in multiplayer could come along and open the door. So there is a way to make it so when somebody, uh, to make it so like that nobody, nobody can come in even if they know the code or you left it down. Uh, you build, um, a switch. Uh, I'll build it. Hold on. Switch here, and that. Yeah, there we go. There, you want it like a space uh, behind. Then, then make sure that the red, the redstone is leading into the switch. And then when you turn that on, that supplies power to that. And if you remember, if if this is supplying power, the door doesn't open. But whatever combination this is, see this is right. Door now won't open. So when you're inside, you can have that override switch, and it won't work. And the 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 thing won't work. So, but you need to remember uh, if you, if you have that override switch, you need to remember to turn that off uh, when you go in. Uh, turn that off when you go out. So you can have that. You can go in, turn that on. Nobody else can get in. And when you want to go out, just turn that back up. And then what you can do now is build a frame around the door with dirt or whatever. So of course, whatever t material you want. Um, so just nearly run out. That doesn't matter what material it is. Uh, you can just put a button, say, I'll put it on the right here, and you can press it. That That's not connected to anything, That ju that's just a separate circuit to open the door. So, that that, that has a time limit. Uh, you can make another circuit to, to open the door, but you just want to get out, so you can use that button, get out. Okay, and then, have the right combination, have the wrong combination, doesn't open. Have the right combination, it opens. And then you can close it. And then override if you want. And turn it off. Get back out. And you're done. So this is all done. Uh, I hope you got that. I uh, hope I helped you. And I hope that wasn't too complicated. I try to explain it as much as I can. Um, and I hope you enjoy uh, advanced. This is probably one of the most advanced uh, ways of doing a. Yeah, ways of doing a combination lock so if you manage to do it well done and yeah so i'll see you next time